Enhanced Autopilot is an upgrade to Basic Autopilot. That much we know. But what does that really mean? What features do you get with Enhanced Autopilot that you don't get with Basic Autopilot? And is the $6,000 upgrade cost for Enhanced Autopilot really worth it? When my wife got her Tesla, it was kind of neat playing around with some of the features in Basic Autopilot. And keep in mind, this is a basic option that comes with every single Tesla that's sold. While it's a nice feature, there are some limitations with Basic Autopilot, which I've described in a previous video, and you can find that in the card that I'm posting here at the top of the screen. So in the summer of 2022, Tesla announced they would be bringing back the Enhanced Autopilot package. What they were really saying is, hey, if you buy Enhanced Autopilot, we're going to give you all the functionality that you get in full self-driving, less navigation on city streets and the whole auto stop on stoplight and stop signs. So it seemed like a pretty good deal. Given that, when I purchased my standard rear-wheel drive Model 3, I decided to punt the $6,000 down for that Enhanced Autopilot upgrade. So in this video, we'll be exploring the features that you get with Enhanced Autopilot and whether or not it's worth that added cost. Now, before we get into Enhanced Autopilot, let's take a look at Basic Autopilot and refresh ourselves with what it really offers. First off, Basic Autopilot comes standard with every Tesla. No additional cost is required, and it comes with two basic features. You have Traffic Aware Cruise Control, which matches your speed to the surrounding traffic around you. With Traffic Aware Cruise Control, if the vehicle in front of you speeds up, your Tesla speeds up. If it slows down, your Tesla speeds down. So this avoids you from having to apply your brake to disengage cruise control, and it just stays at the speed constant to the traffic around you. The second piece of basic autopilot is Auto Steer. Auto Steer combines Traffic Aware Cruise Control with the ability to keep your Tesla in a specific lane. As long as that lane is clearly marked, your Tesla will stay within that lane. That's really the extent of the features you get with Basic Autopilot. Now with Enhanced Autopilot, you get those basic features plus five additional features. Auto Lane Change gives you the ability to change lanes with your Tesla without having to disengage Autopilot. By engaging your turn signal, Tesla Vision will make sure there's no traffic around you and safely change lanes for you all while keeping traffic aware cruise control and auto steer fully engaged. The second feature is navigate on autopilot. This is the big feature that you get with enhanced autopilot. And this is where the full self-driving piece kind of fits into things. Provided you're on the highway, navigate on autopilot will navigate you to your destination, enter a destination on your Tesla navigation system, navigate on autopilot will navigate you to the destination. Now this feature is only active on the highway and it is not enabled until you hit the entrance ramp to the highway and it's automatically disabled when you hit the exit ramp for your destination. The third feature is auto park. So if you're freaked out about parallel parking or backing into a parking space, auto park will do that parking for you. You also have two capabilities. One of them is known as summon and the second one is known as smart summon. Summon will bring your vehicle towards you. So if you're in a tight parking space where someone's parked too close to you where you can't get in your vehicle, you can use summon from your phone and back that vehicle out of the parking spot so you you can get into it. Smart Summon is Summon on steroids, where your Tesla will navigate towards you in a parking lot. Think of it this way. Maybe it's raining when you walk out of a grocery store, your vehicle is parked at the end of the lot. You can use Smart Summon to bring your vehicle towards you and it will navigate through the parking lot, avoiding the traffic. Now, unfortunately, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon are three features that are not currently available with Enhanced Autopilot. Why? Well, they use the functionality found in the ultrasonic sensors that Tesla has been removing from their vehicles since October 2022. Now, don't even get me started on that. I did another video on the removal of these ultrasonic sensors, and you can take a look at that at the card that I'm posting here at the top of the screen. Needless to say, what Tesla is doing is they're removing functionality from the vehicle, hardware from the vehicle, that is required for Auto Park Summon and Smart Summon to work. Now, they're planning on replacing that with some updates to Tesla Vision, but we're going to have to wait for those updates to get rolled out. So is Enhanced Autopilot worth this additional cost? 
I mean, that really depends on what you want to use it for. In my case, I've got a long commute to work. It's mostly highway driving, leveraging, navigate on autopilot, and more specifically, auto lane change when I'm using autopilot was a feature that I was willing to pay for. Now, if you do mostly city driving, save your money. You're not really going to find any added benefit with upgrading to enhanced autopilot, especially since auto park, summon, and smart summon are features that you currently can't even use. Now, I have found that enhanced autopilot does provide me some value, I really like the auto lane change. I like the navigate on autopilot, especially if I'm going to a destination where I might not be familiar with the specific highways. But how much value it provides remains to be seen. I've only been using it for about three weeks now, and the jury's still out. We'll explore that usefulness here in some upcoming videos. So hopefully you found this quick little video helpful to explain some of the key differences between basic autopilot and enhanced autopilot. Now be sure to subscribe because I've got some future videos planned that's going to explore some real world use cases on using enhanced autopilot. That way you can decide for yourself whether that upgrade, that $6,000 upgrade, is something that's going to be worth it for you. See y'all in the next video.